Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a, a special guest coming all the way from our office slash bedroom. It's my husband, Peter, who looks so tan compared to me right now, by the way. Holy guac. I fiddled um, with the camera settings. <laughs> <laughs> Peter spent the past like 14 hours at Sephora picking out a full face of makeup for me to do the husband buys my makeup tag. It wasn't that long. It was it was living hell. It was so long. I had time to like watch a movie, take a shower. Why do girls not wear so much makeup? I don't wear so much. It's just different steps. Oh my god, there's so many. This steps. is a lot of fun for me because I'm so lonely usually on camera. So I'm so happy to have my bestie with me right now. Okay, you want to see what I got? Okay, so let's show them uh, how you did in store this morning then. Roll. Going to get makeup this morning. <laughs> I'm on my way to Sephora. What you guys maybe don't know is that I am actually not really one to do things kind of half-assed. So when she asked me to do this, went online and started doing my research. I looked up like Jacqueline Hill and Jeffree Star, favorite YouTubers that do makeup, and looked at their top 10 recommendations most recently. And I was a little bit sneaky. I also went on to her Sephora account and looked at her bag, her pictures of that. So hopefully I'm well prepared to go in there and get her what she wants. Supposed to pick up a whole look. It has to be a whole face. And I'm not allowed to ask anybody anything at Sephora. I think I cheated a little bit with the YouTube thing there, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, I'm on the boosted and I'll pour in a second. Before. It's only 10.30, so there aren't that many people here. All right, what do I start with? What a mission. Nobody told me. Everything is in French. I'm trying to find foundation and primer. Oh, no. oh, there. This brand is familiar. I know we used this on that beauty video. Tart. She wanted something from Tart. I remember her talking about it. Oh, so much different stuff. This is literally an impossible job. So far, I have two things supposed to have like 10 things, so I feel like I'm failing at my job. This is so hard. Oh, Becca, wait, I feel like there's something here that we need. All right, so I remember from the last video that she was using this, Champagne Pop. I just remember it because she likes champagne a lot, and I remember that she liked it. So that was a pressed highlighter. They seem to have a new Becca, Chrissy Teigen, I'm pretty sure that's who that is, thing. And it says that it has blush, bronzer, and highlighter. So I think I just killed three birds with one stone. At this point, this has become pretty seriously stuff. So I made myself a little list here of things that I need. I have a primer, check. I stick foundation, check. I have setting powder, check. Eyeshadow, check. Mascara, check. So blush, bronze, and highlight, I have. Okay, so really I need eyeliner, lip, contour, and concealer. I feel like I'm doing okay. This has got to be like the most complicated thing in the entire world. Contour, 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 contour. Now it's getting busy in Sephora, which is, just means extreme embarrassment for me. Contour. Kat Von D, I feel like she doesn't have this. Shade and light contour palette. Didn't she say not to get a contour palette? I've decided to go with this concealer. I feel like Claude's pretty pale right now. <laughs> Let's just go with this one. Good. Done. So, I got this. Liquid eyeshadow, magnificent metal glitter and glow. Somebody gave me a tip that she's gonna need a eyeshadow palette. So, I feel like this one's too dark, but this one is a good idea. We're gonna go with this one. All right, so I'm going through my list and I realized that I completely forgot eyebrow. I'm here in Anastasia. I think this is what I need. What in color? Caramel? Job done. That was not easy at all. That was expensive. Oh, simple. Time to head home. Okay. See you back home. Hello! Oh yeah! Are you ready? I don't know, I'm like nervous. Do you want to see the receipt first? No. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully there's some stuff that you have duplicates. Is makeup... Okay. Wait, is makeup more expensive than you thought it was? Oh my god, yeah. Well, no, I've been to Sephora. Peter, before. yeah, but no, you don't, he I doesn't know. go in Sephora. Can I sip him out? He goes, he sits outside of Sephora and mopes and texts me like anger, like, hey, like, are you done? Like, before Christmas maybe? And I'm just like, oh my God, I just came for a concealer. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. 
Oh my god, okay, it's a good size bag, I'm not too worried. Yeah, so whatever you bought duplicates of that I might already own, we're going to return. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited. It's well, like, no, okay, so I don't I don't want to go in. I think I think you should show me, like, show me what you bought, try to do it in order, oh and like, I want your reasoning. God. How did, wait, how did it go for you this morning? How did you feel about that? I was so nervous when I first walked in. Then I- You made friends? Started. I made friends. Did you cheat? Okay, let me tell you. <laughs> Last night, I did my research. I watched Jeffree Star and Laura something or other top tens to see if I could get like some interesting stuff. When did you do that? Do and then I actually- What did you do last night? I did cheat a little bit. How? I took screenshots of your basket at Sephora. How? You went on my computer? Your computer? You're such a, like, I don't know if, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like grateful I have you as a husband or if I think like you're like a dick. I don't like doing anything half I'm so excited now though, because it's going to be stuff I actually want. Yeah, probably. I can't believe you actually did that. Yep. I, I was like trying to hint at him all day actually. Yeah, oh, no, I was, like, I was, I was like, like, shut up, Claude, I got this. I like yeah. sketchily went through your YouTube history to figure out which beauty videos you watched. That must have been interesting. Oh, yeah, it's kind of no, it's not. <laughs> uh, that's so great. Okay, I'm so like excited now. Let's start with primer. That's the first thing, right? Yeah. Oh, what do is you have the... this? One? No, I do not. I guess you got it for the name. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Too Faced Proactive Nourishing Hangover Coconut Water Primer, probiotic base. Got coconut in it, and it's called Hangover. I'm so excited. I've never ever tried this. Okay, by the way, something you guys should know about me. I love doing these beauty videos, but I'm not a beauty guru. I, I haven't tried most of the stuff that they sell at Sephora. I usually go for the stuff that I see people recommend, but this is something I've never tried, so I'm super excited. Cool! Then this is a straight cheat because this was in your basket at Sephora, but they don't have it yet. It's not out, but I asked. I had to ask. And then the girl found it in the back. Get out! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh my god, what shade did you get me? This is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. I love stick foundations. I heard that this what was pretty good. What do you mean, what good. shade? Comes in different shades? You're lying. That's a funny, I can tell you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> what shade did you get me? Medium neutral? I don't know. That feels like a good... I love stick foundations and this is the newest addition. Okay, yeah, this this is actually... This looks This looks like... Yeah, that's impressive. Is this the shade I had in my basket? This was the shade I had picked online? Yeah, okay, what I'm comes after good. that? Concealer? Do you have a concealer? Yes, that was a tough shade pick thing. Ooh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD. HD. You figured that because it, it was HD, it'd be good? Not 4K, but... <laughs> it is! 4K! What's she, oh man, I'm nervous. What color did you think I'd I went really get? neutral on most stuff because I was like afraid. Because okay. you're not like super pale, but you're pretty pale. I'm really pale right yeah. now. Okay, like, uh, like a pink undertone. I don't have this and I love the HD like line. Okay, this is an interesting applicator. We'll see how that goes. And what comes after that? Setting powder? Did you get setting powder? Yes. Oh, okay. Kat Von D. I'm so, like, I'm so like kind of proud of you. You like Kat you. Von D. I do like Kat Von D. It's Kat Von D's Lock It Translucent Loose Powder. I do know that these come in different. Oh, it's new. It's newish. You're right. It is new. That's not. I, I did. I might have talked to some people at Sephora. Babe, you sound like you did this completely. Like it sounds like you cheated really hard. I didn't cheat that bad. I kind of cheated. Whoa. I'm. Well, I mean, this. I'm really excited that you cheated because I kind of wanted this stuff. So yeah, this powder comes in shades though. Oh really? Yeah, but I don't want a and white one. Thing. How do you? Sh it's pretty. It looks white. It's translucent. This is good. This is perfect. High five! I'm so excited. I'm so proud of you. Okay, and then what? When you left, I feel like I was dropping you off at kindergarten or something. Oh my god, what comes after that? What would I usually, I would do contour around this time. Contour, okay, so I got you this, which is cute. I wanted this! Really? You know that I wanted this. I didn't know that you wanted that, that was not This is the new that Becca is, Chrissy that Teigen. Nothing. That was zero cheat. That was just, I thought that looked cool, and I knew that Chrissy Teigen is cool. Because you I have a cookbook? this morning. Yeah. I'm so excited. I wanted this. Look how cute this is. I, I thought it looked a lot like the Jaclyn Hill palette online, but what it's does nice it look colors. like? Ooh, that is pretty. It is similar to Jaclyn Hill's palette. Oh, so you already have that? No, I don't. It's very, it's still different. And this one's nice for travel. It looks a little more glittery. I'm so excited. I love Chrissy Teigen. And this is a beautiful palette. Jeez, nice mirror. Yeah. Cool. Oh, this is fun. It's like Christmas. Blush, did you get me blush? Well, there's blush in there. Yeah, there is. Is there's that my blush? blush? Highlighter and bronzer. Okay, so that's my highlighter, my blush, and my bronzer? Well, yeah, the three Perfect. of them are in there. Why would I buy any more? So this is my bronzer to contour with? Yeah. Okay, so it got some glitter, but I can work with that. Okay, go go, go with your gut next. I don't know, just go go with what you want to show next. I want to hear your thought process. Not much. Eyeshadow, do you want the palette, eyeshadow palette? I don't know what else is, I don't know what you got, show. Oh, the sweet peach Too Faced palette. It smells like peaches. 
Is that why you like it? Maybe, yeah, and you like two face from your video that we shot like two weeks ago. Also kind of cheating because I edited that video. I heard every single product that you used. Like well, it's kind of nice to know that you listen to me. I have. No, I don't, I don't have... listen to you, but you don't have much of a choice when you do five. Oh, it touch. smells nice. It smells nice. Colors go well with that thing. You tried to coordinate? Yeah. So what's your thought for my look today? Oh, I don't know. I think it's like summery. Summery. Okay. This is fun. There's a lot of colors to choose from, so you gave me options. I like that. Yeah, it's cute. And it, oh, it's mad. It smells good. And this. I like this. On top of that, you put this, which is just, this is a straight sheet. You that is a straight sheet. Aww. Because I love- There are different colors. Yeah, there are. Is this, did you get me the glitter one or did you get me the new ones that are more like holographic? Oh, this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I use this in my Get Ready With Me video. If you want to see that, I'm going to link it up here somewhere. And yeah, it was Do in my basket. No, this is the new ones that are like more like metallic rather than glittery. I, I haven't, I wanted I went, to pick I kept pulling this color out because I, I figured that that was going to be like an end color of your eye. Is that true? What do you mean end color? Well, I mean like that's on the top of your eye, right? Okay. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a pink. They had two different colors, that or blue. Blue, I was just like, I couldn't get Miss Doubtfire out of my mind. That's awesome. Cute though, right? It is really cute. Okay. I'm going to be like really cute tonight. Then... I usually just put gel, but I like to define my brows sometimes. What color did you get me? This is caramel. Did you actually look at the shade before you bought it? Yeah, there was blonde or caramel, and I thought caramel. Was All right. Like I'm like, no, it's fine. I'll work with it. Okay. Then okay, this is, this my favorite brow is Laura, YouTube Laura. Okay, Laura YouTube. Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee. She really likes this stuff, so... Fake Awake Eye it's Highlight. Highlighting eye... I really don't know what this is. So it's Tarte's Fake Awake Eye Highlight. All right, what is it? You don't know what it is? I don't know what it is. Okay, it's like a pen. Oh. Yeah. It's a highlighting pen. It's a highlighting for your pen. Inner eye. For my inner eye corner. Ooh, that sounds kind of nice. It's a fun tool I don't have. You haven't bought any duplicates. I'm like really proud of you. No, okay, so then. This is a lot of stuff to work with so far. Mascara. Oh, I wanted this. This is the Dior. And they play it with that black eyed piece song. Pump it, loud it. Like that's the ad for it. I think it's exclusive to Sephora. I'm really excited. I wanted to try this. I was gonna buy this as like a fun, cause I've been using the same mascara for like 18 years. So this is so exciting. I have like enough kind of almost yet. Well, uh, you need lipstick. I do. I love this one. Really? Do you have it already? Yeah. That color? I think so, yeah. It's protector. Nice. I don't have protector. It's pretty, uh... Uh-oh. I'm out in town. So. This is my favorite. These are my favorite lipsticks. Did you did you remember that from my, like, purse video or anything? How did you remember that? Oh, my God. Okay. Really intense. It doesn't go with the other thing at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm going somewhere after this. <laughs> is like, that's what raises the stakes. I'm a, I'm a, it's, I'm gonna be purple. Okay, yeah. and then you need setting spray. My blush is like bright pink. My lipstick is, what is this? Oh, I wanted this! So this is the Marc Jacobs Recover Perfect Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. So what you've set me up with right now is a purple eye with a purple lip. I thought purple and purple just kind of... Purple lip, yeah, okay. And then where do you want me to put the, the peach makeup? Like, like underneath the... Huh? This I'm very curious about because I have no idea what this does. It's an inner eye highlighter. Inner eye highlighter, okay. This goes inside... Inside. This goes on top of your eye and then you You didn't put, get me eyeliner. You put this on top. Which is interesting. Which mm -hmm. is fine. I can do a look without eyeliner. You well, really didn't get eyeliner. me. No, this is not eyeliner. Am I gonna use like a brow pencil for eyeliner? Is that a sketch? Okay. And then this, this is literally the only bronzer I have. I'm so like, I only use like matte bronzers. So this is gonna be a stretch. But yeah, okay. Would you like to stay while I do my makeup? Or? No. I don't know. Brow pencil. I didn't get eyeliner. What's eyeliner? You didn't. Eyeliner is black or brown or colored actually. But what? Uh, no, no. Well, you don't have one. You did not buy one. Right. <laughs> Liquid eyeshadow. Peter, I, this is what you bought. It's right here. Right. <laughs> no, there's no eyeliner. Oh, oh. oh chance. I guess we're gonna get started. Mama's afraid right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay. I don't know. I've never used any of these products. It's like a full face of first impressions too, I feel like at the same time. <sighs> purple lip, purple eyes. Okay, Peter. So we're gonna start with our Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Right now my face, I'm super moisturized. Oh, it's a pump. Okay, I'm so scared. I'm gonna take off my wedding ring. So I don't know how many pumps of this I should use. Oh. I squeeze the tube and then, my God, that's like I've never done my makeup before. Okay, a good amount on my hand. I've heard good things about this. Oh, it smells very like pina colada-ish compared to the Marc Jacobs one, which is like more coconut watery. I can see how this would be helpful in the case of a hangover. Okay, so now that I'm primed, primed-ish, prim, primed adjacent, 
I'm going to go on with the Tarte Foundation Clay Stick. It's not bad. It's gonna give me a little color considering how pale I am. I'm going pretty hard on the lines right now. Probably a bad idea. I should probably build on it. But yeah, I'm going full Monty right now. We're trying new things, everyone. Oh my God, this is a little dark. But let's see how this buffs it. Uh, so far, I have no complaints. I've never used Tarte Foundation any formula. I'm kind of a creature of habit. If something works for me, I'm not that tempted to like try new products. So I'm noticing that it's not super full coverage, which I like. I don't want a super matte foundation. I like dry my skin a little bit. I mean, it gave me a little bit of color, which is nice. I usually always go a little darker with my foundation because if I matched my face all the time, then I would be transparent. All. So now that the foundation is nice and buffed in, we're gonna move on with the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. He bought a shade that I would usually like buy for blemishes rather than highlighting. Also, I've never used this applicator. I'm not sure if I should like put it on my hand and dot it or just put it on. I'm used to having like a doe foot or something. Oh my God, that's so dark. <laughs> Yeah. This is not a highlight. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the same exact color as my foundation. We're gonna go light. How do I use this? <laughs> oh, bother, that's orange. Uh, this is not a highlight. This is the color of my, I think it's darker than my foundation. It's warm. It's real, real warm. We're gonna buff it in with a beauty blender and hope for the best. Or should I just use my foundation brush? Cause this is bad. Like this is not good. I'm just gonna buff it in with my foundation brush cause realistically it ain't gonna highlight anything. I think it's actually giving me just more coverage in the areas I would normally highlight. Oh goodness. I have a nice dinner with my girlfriends tonight. I have to explain this. Je suis découragée. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to like wash my face and redo my makeup. Oh my God. I really like, I don't know what to do. So I wet a beauty blender because that really wasn't working. It doesn't look bad. It matches my skin tone. It's just, it ain't highlighting anything. It's in my hairline, it's in my brows. Okay. So with my same damp beauty blender, I'm gonna go into the Kat Von D translucent setting powder and hope that that'll do the highlights job for it. So yeah, it looks a little banana powdery. I've never used this. I always use my Laura Mercier. So let's see how, oh, it's nice. It's more like, I think my Laura Mercier is a little overdue too, but it's so nice to have a new setting powder. So now that our under eyes are set, usually I start my eye look. But I have no idea what I'm gonna do right now. So I think the rules for this challenge are that I have to use at least everything. But I can't really use like, I guess I could. I could do like a purple eye and a purple lip and then pink blush. Should I just go for it? I'm gonna use a blending brush to blend in a transition shade in my crease. I'm just gonna go in the crease. Oh my God, okay, shh, calm down. As I said, I always use the same product the same way. And I feel like this is a real reality check right now. You can't be doing that with everything because they don't all go on the same. I'm gonna dip into puree again and I go a little less heavy handed to uh, define my crease. So yeah, I'm gonna start over here with Georgia, I think, all over the lid. And then I'll see if I wanna add uh, some other colors. These are very pigmented. Okay, so that wasn't bad at all. That blended in, the, the, the crease color blended in nicely with this Georgia color. I love the way that it looks like a nice nude tan eye, but now I have to make some difficult choices. Do I ruin this to integrate this? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm scared, I'm afraid. Go big or go home, right? So I'm gonna go in with talk derby to me over here and uh, darken up my uh, outer corner. So now that I've blended in the talk derby to me on the outer corner, I'm thinking I'm going to carry it in the lower lash line to have a super dark moody eye look. I'm really hoping this works out, but you know, we don't know what's gonna happen, let's be real. This is like a very intense makeup look for like midday. I got places to be, I got things to do. So I'm gonna go in with peaches and cream. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with peaches and cream. It's like a nice golden shade. Blow on your brushes. So now here's the truth. I have, I've never used this. I don't know how it's gonna look like on the eyes. It's got a lot of pink and blue reflux. Now I got like peach and purple on my eyes. I don't know uh, if that was the wisest call, but that's what I had to work with. So I'm going to start in the middle of my eye and hopefully go easy handed and see if I should carry it to the center. This is crazy. Like this is, makes no sense. Okay, let's, let's try. Oh my God. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the whole lid because that purple shade doesn't exactly match. It's like the definition of clashing. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Bellini over here. It's like a metallic pink golden shade and uh, smoke out my lower lash line a little bit, especially towards the inner corner. 
Peter bought me a tool I've never used before called the Fake Awake Pencil. He said it was a highlighting pencil. It's not showing up on my hand at all. I'm just gonna put some in my inner corner and see if it does anything there. This does nothing. So now that I've put this in my inner corner and there's not enough highlight for the rest of the, how highlighted this look is right now, I'm going to dip into white peach over here and carry it in my inner corner. It's kind of holographic, so hopefully that'll tie in the look a little bit. I lied, it's pretty white. That didn't pick up as well as I would want it, so I'm gonna go back into peaches and cream, which is golden, which doesn't make any sense, but that's what I got going for me right now. Okay, now that I have a beautiful eye look done, I'm going to wipe away, oh my god, I can't like look at myself. Uh, I'm gonna wipe away any fallout and my bake, which, you know, not as lit as I would want it to be. This is a sad day for makeup wearers everywhere. So now it's time to contour. And for that, Peter provided me kindly with this Chrissy Teigen Becca palette, which includes the tiniest little baby bronzer that has a ton of glitter in it. It's called Malibu Soleil. It's not too bad. Carry more product on the top, and then just kind of go in. I feel like Peter like said he wanted to like make this like make me happy with these purchases. I don't think he thought about it all the way through though. At least if I had like a neutral lip. I'm about to put on some purple lipstick, guys. Maybe he's trying to sabotage me. He's just trying to look good on camera. He's gonna let me know later. I'm gonna go in around my forehead. This bronzer is actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. There's not really that much glitter. Maybe I thought there was glitter because there was some fallout from the highlighting palettes around it. Okay, now I'm gonna take a beautiful big fluffy brush and kind of make sure that it's all in there. I'm gonna get into this like coral peach pink color called hibiscus. Hibiscus or hibiscus? You call it hibiscus. Hibiscus bloom. <laughs> I feel like a clown. Let's not go crazy there. I mean, it's a super pretty color. It's just it's a lot of stuff going on in my face right now. It's on there. It's blushy, all right. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my cheekbones and my nose. I have two options here. I'm gonna go with the more neutral one. So I'm gonna go in with Beach Nectar, which is super pretty. All right, at least I got a good highlighter out of the deal, right? So yeah, the highlighter is really pretty. The Becca highlighters are always really pretty, though, so that's no surprise. And I'm gonna go in to Beach Nectar again to highlight my cupids, though. It's a little dark for me. Uh, 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 uh. This is not the right highlight for me. Maybe I'll go into Rose Gold then. I feel like you have to have a warmer skin tone for these highlighters. Like I warmed up my skin tone real nice over here, but yeah, I feel like I gotta have that Chrissy Teigen glow to get that Chrissy Teigen glow. Oh, I have to contour my nose. God forbid, right? It would really ruin this look. That is like a really intense nose contour. So now that I got all this goodness on my face, it's time to do brow, brow clock. I want them to look as bushy as humanly possible, even though I got them done yesterday. I'm gonna go in uh, with Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil and caramel. Oh my god. The thing is, I'm using these products the way I would use like the products that actually would work for my face. So I feel like I should be smarter and strategically like put less product if it's darker. But I'm really going in like an idiot. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No, go away, bad brow. And there's like concealer still in my brows. Oh my god. Comb it out. Comb it out. That'll work. I feel like I did a better job with this guy than I did with the first one. I gotta go mess it up so it matches our original messed up one. Whatever, everyone's got a better brow anyways, right? So now it's time to go in with something I'm actually really excited about, the Dior Show Pump and Volume. So yeah, I think you just pump the product onto the brush and then you just go to town. Curl my lashes. Pumping up the lashes before pumping them up again. Like the more I'm looking at it, the least bad this is. Okay. Pump it louder, pump it. Copyright infringement. Okay, the brush is cute. It's like one of those plasticky applicators. I'm gonna go in not too heavy handed. Oh wow, okay. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's kind of interesting. It's a little more like clumpy to thin as I would normally like. So far, not a fan at all. This is not good. Okay, we're gonna go in with the lower lash line and cross our fingers. Oh, wow. So all that's left is to put a little lippy on and to set the face. So Peter got me a super neutral shade and it's called Protector. I like the lipstick. I don't really understand where he was coming from. Let's go, let's try this thing. So it's not as purple as I thought. It's more of like a pink magenta violet color, which is good because it ties in nicer with the liquid eyeshadow. 
All right, guys, I think we're done and it's time to set this face. So I'm actually really excited about setting my face, though I'm nervous because I haven't really tried this applicator and a camel spit can ruin a whole makeup look. So this is the Marc Jacobs Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. The Perfecting Coconut Primer is my favorite primer in the world, so. Oh my God, it's such a camel spit. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I don't even know where to try it. Oh my God, it's like, it's like I have to do it from like here. Oh man, pray for me. Oh, it smells so good though, but yeah, go from, oh my God, like the whole area is misted, I feel like about the camera too. Yeah, it definitely camel spit all over my face. That is not acceptable. Set, 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 face set. Oh no, this is one of those primers you should just put like two things up. I'm so used to putting like 12, like the Tatcha one that's like kind of dewy and oily. Oh no. Please dry, please dry, please dry, please dry. You know what's funny? The things that I requested are the things that are giving me a hard time. Peter better at makeup than me, maybe he is. Who knows? Oh! Man, am I moist right now. So here it is, the final product. I don't know, should we call Peter back in? Honestly, it's more makeup than I would normally wear, but it's not as bad as it was looking halfway through the process, which, you know, can only be grateful for that. But yeah, I look like a, a princess and like, like working like at a party, not like a real like beautiful princess. It's like, Hired princess for kids' birthday party. All right, Peter, you want to come see? Well, how do you think you did? Okay. All right, are you ready? Okay. Three, go. Two, one. It's cute. <laughs> That's cute. What would you change if you were to redo this <laughs> exercise? Oh, you look different. You made me ugly. You think maybe this could have been salvaged by, I don't know, a, new, nice. a normal blush color, not a like coral, bright pink blush? Uh, the blush, I don't think is. Oh, that's not the worst offense? <laughs> maybe, maybe this then. Maybe this is where you messed up. I think so, maybe. Okay, here, let's try it. So, how about this? Do you like this better? If I were to like. Yeah, it's a lot less like. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I look good now? Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. You liked seeing me tortured by this nugget right here. If you did, don't forget to give a big thumbs up down below and comment on where you thought that he really messed up. <laughs> I have a couple ideas if I'm you're not sure. I'm never going to Sephora again. Seriously? Yes! Are you actually never going to go to Sephora with me again? Yeah, but like, do you have more empathy for us as women now? When you say, yeah, you're taking so long now, do you understand why it takes a long time? Well, I mean, I, no, because I'd think that you would like figure out what you wanted. Peter, learn a lesson. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in next week for something without him, because he fails. He's gone. I'll go back behind the camera. Right? Go back behind the camera where you belong. See you next week. Bye. Bye.